welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what is in my camera sling, the travel edition. I've been using this for the past week or so, traveling through Singapore and now Bali. And let me tell you, it has been a game changer to making things feel a lot freer and a lot easier, both in terms of just enjoying the traveling itself as well as my photography. I've taken so many shots because I feel like this setup has really just helped me to not be weighed down and not be carrying big heavy bags and actually want to use my camera and my gear. Now this is coming from someone that's an absolute backpack lover. I'm, I've always preferred them, I've always found them more comfortable, but given the fact this is a nice light and compact setup, I think it works a treat. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the bag itself. I have made an unboxing video and first impressions with all the specs and details of the bag. You can check that out up here or here. Um, but basically I am using the Wondred Rome 3 litre sling. This is the smallest one they do. I got it in the Yumatan colour, which I think is really nice. Um, I, um, I think it works really well, especially when travelling in warmer kind of countries. And the weather sealing and the kind of ruggedness of it has been really, really useful. It is quite kind of rugged looking, but I. I take my stuff everywhere. So I've taken it down on the beach. It's been through forest, rainforests, kind of dirty places, wet grass. I've been sprayed by sprinklers. I've had it near the sea um, and it's, it's handled it really, really well. I mean, it's nice and waterproof. So I feel pretty confident that my stuff is quite safe inside there. Obviously I'm not taking a dunk in the sea, but pretty good all in all. So we better get inside the bag. Now, here we have it. We have the main compartment here. And if I flip this open, you will see hopefully, the inside. So you can see my main compartment there. I've split it up into two bits. There's a main bit, I probably split it like two thirds and a one third because there's one little divider inside. So the main attraction, of course, is the camera. If you've watched any of my videos, you will know I am an A7C, a Sony A7C user. This is the Mark II. Absolutely fantastic for both photo and video. Really good quality. I just, I can't fault it. I, I, I'm a true convert and I absolutely love it. I've paired it with my Sony 40 millimeter lens. This is what I've used for the majority of the time. Super compact, super light. For me, a really nice focal length. I like to shoot a little bit tighter uh, and it's just done the job really well for me. It's quite discreet, doesn't look like anything too major. And I have been in some spots, especially in Singapore, where they're a little bit anxious about professional photographers um, and it, it really didn't draw too much attention to itself. More recently, I have picked up a new filter. I picked up this everyday filter by Polar Pro uh, and Short Stash, which is a combination of a CP and a mist filter. Um, I wanted to give it a whirl. I will do a full review on it. I've kind of just been using it probably about 80% of the time. I really like the effect it gives with a mist and it cuts down on a lot of glare of things like the sea and vehicles with that CP built into it as well. So it's super useful um, and it has been fun to use on this trip. Also, of course, always protects the, the front end of your lens. I picked it up in the 49 millimeter, which works purely with this lens. So that is the main rig. I do have my little peak design um, anchor clips on there, which I'll get into in a minute. So Sony a7C for the win. So we'll pop that down. Then when you get into the inside of the bag, the other little third of the pouch, I just keep a lens cloth. Now I'm recording this video here on my DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which has been a new pickup. So I tend to keep my mic um, and the little stand that it's on just tucked away in there. And then I lay my DJI across the top and it still closes really, really nicely. So I've been using this to capture my behind the scenes bits and pieces if I'm out making a video. So it's either in there or it's not. It's a little bit flexible, this setup. So there's some bits that are always in here and there's some bits that are not always in here. But so far, I'm really enjoying the DJI. Let me know um, what you think of the quality. This is being shot on it right now. It's super handy. I really like how small it is, but you're getting quite good quality. Now, further into the bag, on the inside here, you have this little zip pouch here, which is very nice. I don't keep much in here because I want to keep it quite light and easy to close. I've literally just got my trusty lip balm, which I don't go anywhere without. And I have a really small little card reader. I have an anchor card reader, which takes a normal SD and a micro SD. So if I want to upload any images on the go, say onto my phone into Lightroom, or if I have my iPad with me, I can do that via that, which is super useful because I don't really like doing it wirelessly. I find the app really quite annoying. Now inside the main pocket, once again, there's this like kind of um, slip pouch, which is quite 
thin, but it is perfect for my power bank, which has been endlessly used. We've been going out for some quite long days at times. I use this Nightcore 10,000 milliamp battery. It's super skinny. It's like a little carbon kind of um, shell on it. It's really, really nice and does the job. I just carry that with a really nice short USB-C cable, which can pretty much charge any of my devices. It can charge my camera, it can charge the DJI, and it can charge my iPhone, which I also carry. I'm using the iPhone 15 Pro, normal size, which I usually slip down the back zipper section here, which is closest to my body, because I know that it keeps it nice and safe and it's really easy to access. So that goes into there. Got a couple of other little pockets in the back here. Again, I don't overstuff this area, but I've got two spare memory cards. I've got an, a micro and a normal. You never know when something happens to an SD card, or indeed you fill it up. A few uh, business cards in there. Again, you never know who you might meet on your travels. And I also have in the other little pouch a little air tag because once again, you never know where you might leave your bag. So that is in there. And I think that pretty much sums it up. Potentially that's too light a set up for some people. It's been working really well for me. And as I say, keeps me um, slightly freer. Now, if I was going out for a really big day, there's a few additional things that I might uh, mix this set up with. So what I might do if I was going out on a big day and I kind of wanted to carry another lens as well, I've got this really nice um, rope strap, which I've also made a video about, um, which I love. So I would probably put that on the camera, say with the 40 millimeter, and I can sling that across me because sometimes I do want to have the camera out all of the time, but I don't want to hold it in my hand. That then of course leaves me a big load of space in the bag itself. So I could, I could put in, my Sony uh, 16 to 35 that's the f4 pz version that fits in there really really nicely um, and just have that as an extra lens which if I wanted to shoot something wide potentially I have a specific thing in mind like I did yesterday I went and shot a sunset but I knew for the most of the day I wanted my 40 so I just stuffed this in the bag and walked around with the camera that was really nice um, and then that's pretty much it I can then simply have this as a bag to, to chuck some other bits and pieces in but that total setup is just a treat for me freeing easy light not too intrusive don't look like a photographer with a massive backpack on and um yeah to me it's been fabulous so far so we've got a few more days here in bali i'm sure there'll be lots more photography to come and uh, thank you very much for watching drop me a comment down below if you have any questions about any of this stuff i'd be really uh, happy to help i would also mention this bag is very good for like the traveling portion as in through airports and things like that. I didn't load it up with my camera. I had all my stuff in my backpack. I do have a backpack with me, which has got like literally all of my tech in it. And then I pretty much use this for some light stuff. So like I had my passport down the back with my phone there, had my AirPods in there, had some snacks, had some bits and pieces, just some light to kind of carry stuff, things that I wanted to get at really quickly because I carry it around my front whilst I've got my backpack on my back. So very versatile. I would highly recommend traveling with both a backpack and a smaller bag for your camera when you get to a location. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.